Two more people died, five others were missing feared dead and thousands were evacuated to beaches as Australia's most devastating wildfire season on record worsened on Tuesday. Police said a father and son died in the early hours of Tuesday defending their home in Cabago, near the coast in the state of New South Wales, NSW, 280 miles south of Sydney. The town was hit by one out-of-control fire which roared into the community in the middle of the night, with its main street bearing the impact. Further south, fires continued to blaze out of control in the state of Victoria, where some 4,000 people were forced to take shelter on the beach in the holiday town of Malakuta, in the East Gippsland district along the Pacific coast. Around 4,000 more people were sheltering in community centres in the town. Those sheltering on the beach were advised to go into the water if the fire situation worsened. Similar advice was given to people in several NSW coastal towns, where fearful residents and holidaymakers had also abandoned their dwellings to move onto beaches. People in Malakuta posted on social media about hearing the roar of the fire, circulating photos showing how, in the words of some, the smoke had turned the day into night. A fire-generated thunderstorm has formed over Karawan fire. Pyrocumulo nimbus can create erratic winds, dry lightning and significantly faster fire spread and in multiple directions. Monitor conditions around you and take action. Learn more, https colon slash slash t dot go slash upo 2 vca 92 x hashtag nswrfs hashtag insfirespick dot twitter dot com slash hatchel 3 i 9. NSWRFS, at NSWRFS. December 31, 2019. Four people were missing in the area, where more than half a million acres of forest have been burnt out and where the intense heat and smoke from fires has been creating localized storm systems. Malakuta is currently under attack, Victoria's State Emergency Commissioner Andrew Crisp said on Tuesday. It is pitch black, it is quite scary. The community right now is under threat but we will hold our line and they will be saved and protected. This photo was taken by a mother, her two primary-aged sons are in the boat with her. They are currently sitting on the Malakuta Lake trying to stay safe from the fire, this is their only option and only refuge. Ordinarily at night I would share about the winds mums who wine has had, the lessons I have learned and the excitement to come, but this all appears insignificant when I see images like this, crying face, our fellow Aussies are in crisis as bushfires continue to rage and for the most part we are helpless. So as we prepare to come together to celebrate the end of 2019, what has been a tough year for many, let's take the moment to be grateful that we and our families are safe and send prayers and love to those seeking refuge. And of course, hug your little ones a little tighter Tony for more on this story, visit the news article link.